Hey everybody, hope you're doing well today. I finally got a chance and I've had some requests to show what I use for the bathroom and how I have it set up in the minivan. So I wanted to do that and I'm also going to make a video today on how I do my bed. So um, let's get started. <laughs> In this ottoman, I keep all of my bathroom essentials. And there is Mr. Cookie, just chilling. He likes to stretch out back here. He can be comfortable. So, let's open this up and see what's in here. So, we have the sacred bottle that screws closed. And it's a rather big one, but I didn't want any problems. And I have some contact paper wrapped around the bottom. And the reason being is if this jug is sitting out and this door behind me is open and somebody walks by, I do not want somebody walking by and seeing yellow fluid in a jug. That would be humiliating to me. And I would never let it get past that height anyways. But anyways, that um, canister slash jug, I got that at the Dollar Tree. And it's been so perfect. It has a really wide... Hold on one second. See how wide it is? It's so easy you know, not to miss or have any problems that way. And then this lid screws on. And I've got some baby wipes and my buckets. Let me show you the buckets. So I use a, actually two buckets. They're very small. They are about three gallon sized bucket. They come from the Dollar Tree. And there are two of them. This one on the bottom I use for my shower water. This one here is basically my toilet. I use a good, like, um, glad garbage bag. It's nice and thick. That same bag has been in this bucket almost a year. I buy these little cheap thin bags from Dollar General, I believe is where I got it. See how many? It's only a couple of dollars for all those bags. And then your toilet paper, of course. So these buckets are flimsy. They are not tough like a five gallon bucket. But two of them sitting together is plenty strong to hold me. Now, if you're a little heavier or something, buy three of them. What does it matter? Um, you always need extra containers, buckets for something. And they're going to fit together so nicely, it's not going to take up really any more space. But... I'm going to set this camera down, and I want, oh, I'm sorry, Cookie, and I want to show you how I can sit on this thing, and it doesn't collapse on me. Okay, hold on one second. Okay. Get up, I was on the floor. And there it is, folks. Let me hold this. Very simple. No worries. And the deed will be done. So, when I'm finished, all you have to do is I take this bag out and I'm going to tie it. I will have another bag already opened 
and I will place that tied bag into this other bag and tie it. That way it is double bagged. No smell is coming out. Um, most cases I would already possibly be heading down the road or something and I could dump it at a, um, a gas station. They have the garbage cans right there by the gas pumps. If not, if I am camping for a few days, then I have the big hefty bags. Open one of these, hang it from this side mirror over here and keep my trash in there until I go. Um, it doesn't have to be a big thing or, you know, like an ordeal. It's, it's real simple. You do it, you double bag it, and get rid of it. As far as my hands go, I keep hand soap in here, and it is highly diluted, and it has to be diluted. But I just squirt my hands down, get them all rubbed together, and then this one is um, just water. I put my hands over the garbage can and I spray them right there. I've never had those bags and that can leak on me either. And I spray my hands until they run clear and I can feel that the soap is all gone. But I make sure that they're clean. Um, some people prefer hand sanitizer. I'm a soap and water person. I clean, wash my hands religiously. Um, you can use baby wipes, put a little soap on there, and then baby wipe them. Whatever you feel most comfortable using. But soap and water, I feel very confident with that. And when things get real freaky, you always have your glade, and that will clear the air. And of course, crack a window. But that's it easy peasy everything's done um this ottoman hides all my bathroom essentials no one knows what's in there um and they're ready to go it's not like i have to prepare it it's just ready when i'm ready and i keep like um some pods those laundry pods and some dryer sheets, antibacterial wipes, things like that in here too. I mean, I'm going to keep it clean. So that right there is a nice thick vinyl tablecloth. It's an older one. Hold on. And I use that whenever I'm taking my shower, just to help protect the um, floor from getting wet. That's it. So, have I got something good for you guys, too. I now can take an absolute shower in this minivan. Absolutely. I'm going to show you one thing. I will not disclose all of it. But I have to use this little portable stool that folds in and out. Flat. And I actually shower. You can shower from head to toe. You will feel clean and refreshed, just like you had a normal shower. Um, and your van will not be destroyed or soaking wet. It's completely doable, folks. So now, I am so happy. When I started my van journey, my whole intentions was to see that I could become 100% self-contained in this minivan. That no matter what happened in life, I could hop in that van, this van, and I'd have a place to sleep, use the bathroom, stay clean. I mean, 
really clean, not just taking wet wipes on my body, but clean and um, being able to cook. So I have met all of those and I'm so thrilled. So I can go anywhere um, and I feel like I'm okay. I have window coverings for privacy. Even if I was in a city, um, I could still take care of myself. The only thing I haven't been able to figure out how to make it happen, and I don't think I'm going to make it happen, is to be able to use a hair dryer. That is one thing I miss, um, is just not being able to do little something with the bangs, you know. But other than that, I've done it. And um, I've been camping, um, nomad camping, dispersed camping, you know, all of that for, well, actually now a little over a year on and off, part time. And to date, I have spent $20 on camping. On, on a campground and it was a dry camping in Tombstone, Arizona and it was worth every penny because I loved that place and this campground was like two blocks from the main drag at Tombstone so I stayed two nights it was so much fun but other than that I have been able to camp 100% for free and yeah I ran into some sketchy situations over in Louisiana. <laughs> but other than that, I've been 100% safe and worry-free. So I've been having a blast, you guys. And I hope you at home who are working on your van, I hope you're having as much fun figuring it out to make it just right for you. You know, like I watched hundreds of videos and I gleaned a little bit from every van lifer and came up with my own with some borrowed ideas that were tweaked and all that a little bit, but it's just been a fun journey. And I am also embarking on a new journey. I'm going to be making a video about that. And I'm super excited. I feel like I'm really focused. And um, I'll share that with you guys in another video. But for right now, I just wanted to share the um, bathroom thing. Because I had a couple of people ask about it from the van tour from Glorious Life on Wheels. We didn't cover any of the bathroom stuff. So... That is my bathroom in a nutshell. It is in that collapsible ottoman, which is just like the best thing ever. I love it so much, I bought another one and I'm using it for food storage. So anyways, I hope you all have a beautiful day. And Cookie wants to say, hello. <laughs> He says, y'all check back now and please like and subscribe to our channel. And I hope you have a beautiful day. <laughs> I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please ask me. Um, I have no shame. <laughs> okay, have a good day. Bye. All right.